Dear students, I would like to discuss with you the concept of independent random variables. If x1 and x2 are random variables of the continuous type where joint PDF f of x1, x2, and marginal PDFs f1, x1, and f2, x2, then in accordance with the definition of the conditional PDF, we can write the joint PDF f of x1, x2 as follows. f of x1, x2 is equal to f1, x1 multiplied by f of x2 given x1. Now, if you say that this is what happened, then this is not a problem. Do we not know the basic theorem of probability that uh, probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of A multiplied by probability of B given A. So now you have to A and B and X1 and X2 and X2 and X2 and X2 and X2 and you can write what I just said, and I will repeat it for you. f of x1, x2 is equal to f1, x1 into f of x2 given x1. Okay, ye to hamara ek general uh, formula hai, general rule hai. Now, suppose that we have an instance where f of x2 given x1 does not depend on x1. First, we will not depend on x1. Ke upar. Then, what will we have? If our variables are continuous, then, my dear students, uh, let us consider the marginal PDF of x2. If we have a marginal PDF, then how do we get it? As you can see on the screen, we can write f2x2 is equal to the integral of f of x1, x2 with respect to x1. Because you know that the variable for marginal PDF you integrate the variable integrate So if I write this, then um, instead of f of x1, x2, I can substitute what I presented to you just about a minute ago. So what will my integral become? It will become like this. Um, the integral from minus infinity to infinity of f1, x1 into f of x2 given x1. And the integral itself is with respect to x1. Now, let's see what we can do in the next one. This f of x2 given x1 hai, this will come out of the integral sign. If you can see this, that this f Now, the question is, why would it come out of the integral sign? Look, I have said that this is that situation where f of x2 given x1 does not depend upon x1. So if it doesn't depend on x1, then the expression will remain the same regardless of whatever x1 might be. Uh, it will be an expression containing x2 and um, x1 will not be involved and so it will come out because Jo integral hai, that is with respect to x1. So agar iske andar bhi x1 hota, then we could not have taken it out. But because it is independent of x1, that's why it is coming out. All right, so now what do we have? Um, our equation ab ye shakal ikhtiyar kar gai, ke f2 x2 is equal to f of x2 given x1 multiplied by the integral from minus infinity to infinity of f1 x1 with respect to x1. Ab iske baad, ye jo integral hai, students, zara us pe gaur 
do you realize that this integral is equal to one? Yes, it is equal to one. Do we not know that the area under the curve for any PDF, the total area has to be equal to one? So when you integrate it from minus infinity to infinity, so it's obvious that that has to be equal to one. So then what do we have now? All we have now got is f of x2 given x1. And what was the equation on the left hand side? F2 x2. So therefore, our equation now is this, that f2 x2 is equal to f of x2 given x1. In other words, the unconditional PDF is the same as the conditional PDF. Now, if this is this, then what was our first equation? उसको हम किस तरह रीराइट कर सकते हैं? सबसे पहली इक्वेशन हमारी क्या थी? कि f of x1, x2, the joint PDF, is equal to f of x, f1, x1 into f of x2 given x1. अब ये जो f of x2 given x1 है, उसकी जगह पे आप सब्स्टिट्यूट कर दीजिए f2, x2. So therefore, we get a simple and neat, attractive equation f of x1, x2 is equal to f1, x1 into f2, x2. Yani, the joint PDF is the product of the two marginal PDFs. This is what we have if x2 is independent of x1. So this is the case, uh, all this that I've said, is the case when we have the continuous variables and in a very similar manner, it can be shown that a similar equation holds in the case of discrete random variables. If x1 and x2 are discrete random variables having joint PMF, aap jante hain ke uh, discrete ke case mein, we do not say PDF, we say PMF, probability mass function. So if x1 and x2 have the joint PMF, P of x1, x2, and the marginal PMFs, P1, x1, and P2, x2, then if x1 and x2 are independent of each other, we will have P of x1, x2 equal to P1, x1, multiplied by P2x2. This is the story of independent random variables.